What's up, YouTube? We're gonna do an eighth prediction check on our Formula One board, and as always, start with the chain bar bingo. Um, Kimi again has not said nothing about his retirement yet, and it's likely we won't know until the end of the season. Four teams winning races, seems like no one except the top three can get anywhere near the top. So far it's 4-3-5 with Mercedes having now a clear advantage. Honda, good races, bad races, we have that point four since China. Uh, 15 cars getting engine penalties. We, we are getting close, but the cars that get um, uh, the, that got engine penalties in Hungary had gotten penalties before, so we are three short and have been for a couple of times and will be for at least another three weeks until the Belgian Grand Prix. Quite a long time to wait, but it is likely that we will get those 15 that Chain Bear was talking about. McLaren, good engine livery. Red Bull, the same livery as the same as, as the last couple of years. Big crash causes Halo controversy. We have that in since Spain. Uh, Formula 2 crash involving the Halo. IndyCar has not yet officially adopted the shield. Super hard used once, actually it hasn't been used at all and until Abu Dhabi is announced, we won't know for sure, but given the quality of the tarmac in Abu Dhabi, it is extremely unlikely. We saw the hard tire in Britain, but that's it. That counts as a half point, so half point. Liberty Media overcompensating on grid girls, that obviously happened, We, I explained the reason why in a past video. 2021 rules include the MGUH, we pretty much know he's, they're gonna get rid of them. Bottas finishing 4th or lower, it's beginning to seem likely, so stay tuned for that, partly because of Austria. Red Bull, we're not sure if we're gonna sign, if they're gonna sign Alonso. We are sure because of recent news that Ricardo is going to move to Renault, leaving a space that may probably be filled by Fernando Alonso. But they have signed with Honda as their engine supplier for next year and at least until 2020. New aerodynamic rules on ground effects, we'll have to see. Alonso did win Le Mans, so that's a good thing. Liberty Media did spice up the pre-race show. Um, the information has been unclear as uh, Silverstone saving or not saving the British Grand Prix, so we're gonna have to wait on that one. New One new race winner? Technically not, but I'm counting Max Verstappen winning without the Kvyat boost in Austria. Vettel outscores Kimi by, well, twi twofold. Highly unlikely. Kimi Raikkonen has been extremely strong lately, bringing the, the tally ratio down to 1.29 as of the Hungarian Grand Prix. Someone gets a penalty point ban that hasn't happened in a few years, in fact. A Red Bull finishing second, unlikely. Williams finishing 7th or worse, very likely. With even causing a red flag. Loose manhole cover in Monaco. That gives us 9 out of 25 on the chain bear board. Uh, you may um, recognize that plus sign with now the color of a half point because I posted this, which got a ton of likes on, in Twitter including WTF1, it didn't appear on the internet's best reactions, but still good enough to give myself a half point on that uh, internet's best reactions plus sign. No one has come out of the closet. Fernando Alonso, resting pick reference, chain bear, uh, 
released this image uh, as a little video clip and while technically he's not resting, he's in a close enough position for me to count it. Uh, topless pictures, again we ha only have 85%. At the end of the year I'm going to uh, release a um, compilation of topless pictures of these guys. Stay tuned for that, if you're a girl or a gay guy, you're gonna like it. Russia joke, I as originally at the, at the beginning of the season I thought I had to wait until the Russian Grand Prix, but Cheko vs. Sorotkin in Canada, that joke happened. Patriotic lap of Patriotic Lab 19, uh, Mexico is happening on uh, Halloween. Uh, Kimi angry on Team Radio. Well, we have that uh, since Azerbaijan. Crashes in Monaco and Singapore. Monaco, yes. Singapore, not yet. A race with no DNFs. Half point for China. Disqualified. No one has been disqualified. Hamilton, Karma for the Princess Dressgate. Austria. Um, Non-native speaker of Spanish giving, in giving an interview in Spanish. That happened in... Brazil, the, I mean in um, in Spain, when Brazilian former driver Felipe Massa gave an interview for Argentinian television. Ten races with first lap drama, one to go. If the Belgian Grand Prix has first lap drama, we have the point. But so far we can only have the half point with nine races with first lap drama so far, but at this rate, we're pretty much sure to, to get that. Back of the grid twice, Brendan Hartley in Spain, and he has been in the back of the grid again a couple of times. Verstappen, driver of the day in Austria, of course. Uh, driver of the day score not bigger than one third, that's the um, other um, um, Prediction ready to do driver of the day. So far, Hamilton and Ricardo have a three each. With the uh, Scuderia with the most driver of the day, driver of the day uh, um, prizes being Red Bull with four. We still have a lot yet to pass, but it's likely the seven DOFD mark will not be passed. Ocon on the podium, Ocon hasn't, but Checo has half point. Mexico trophy, well, we know who, but we don't know if they're gonna appear. No injury or death, you know Bahrain. Andres Manuel losing the general election, well, hilariously and surprisingly no. And in fact, we expected him to win since the first time we saw the poll, so he was very far ahead and won cleanly. Verstappen doing something stupid, he did, he did plenty of stupid things, one of them was in Monaco. We'll get used to the halo, of course we've gotten used to the halo, especially since the Spain incident. Pit stop problems, 10 races, um, again I'm counting mostly the things that appear in highlights that can be um, attributed to pit stops, and well the Hungarian Grand Prix the strategy was a mess in Q2, look uh, for chain bar for details. German Grand Prix, uh, British Grand Prix, both had little incidents uh, that had to do with the pit lane. Mostly cars having to stop from the pits, I'm counting that as well. But yeah, it has been enough of pain in the ass that Azerbaijan has on gone on skate and just Azerbaijan. Force India hasn't smashed into each other, Mexican, Mexican best of devaluating, we, uh, we have that point since, um, well, the French Grand Prix, and it will probably continue devaluating, I am already preparing for that, 19th of September going wrong, we'll have to wait, that's 14.35 for a total of, um, well, I think I haven't updated that one, so 23.35 instead of the 21 we had on the 1st of July. So yeah, we're 23.35. And yeah, see you next time.